Compressive Epsilon Photography is a framework which enables post-capture control of a camera's aperture and focus settings. The Epsilon Photography stack is the space of images formed by taking pictures of a scene with all possible camera parameter combinations. Exhaustively sampling this space is impractical given that a camera can have well over 1,000 parameter combinations. Instead, we show that the images in this space can be reconstructed from just a handful of photographs with carefully selected setting combinations. This means that the user can arbitrarily set aperture and focus settings after taking just this subset of images. To understand why, consider how the intensity at a pixel changes with respect to where the camera is focused. This is shown on the right. Note the structure. Peaks or valleys appear in these profiles when their respective pixels come into focus. We perform k-means clustering with 50 clusters on the normalized intensity profiles for many such pixels. What results are indeed very tight clusters, confirming the structure present. Representing the intensity profiles as low-dimensional projections around these clusters results in very good approximations. Varying the camera's aperture and focus together yields aperture focus images, which also exhibit similar structure and can be efficiently clustered. For our final algorithm, we actually use more general per-pixel Gaussian mixture models to capture the redundancy present. This allows us to greedily choose images that minimize reconstruction error, meaning we can learn which key images best represent the entire Epsilon photography stack. What follows are some results demonstrating compressive Epsilon photography. First, we vary only the focus of the camera. Here, we capture eight input images at different focus settings then reconstruct a 45 image focus stack. Let's look at the captured images focused near the palm tree. Note that the focus changes from the front leaf to the rear one. And as we expect, this change occurs gradually in the reconstructed stack. Also, the intermediate leaves are brought into focus by the reconstruction algorithm. Next, we capture a 45 image ground truth focus stack and use helicon focus to generate an all in focus image and depth map. We then use only 8 input images in our compressive epsilon framework to reconstruct a 45 image focus stack. We run this through helicon focus and generate the all in focus image and depth map seen here. Keep in mind that the ground truth requires almost 6 times as many images. For comparison, we show an all in focus image created from a spline interpolated focus stack. Next, we explore varying both focus and aperture. Using only the 16 input images highlighted, we reconstruct the entire Epsilon photography stack as it varies with focus and aperture settings. This corresponds to over 1,000 images. We now show subsets of the reconstructed space. First, we vary the focus at a fixed aperture. Next, we vary the aperture at a fixed focus. Keep in mind that only 16 images of the scene were used. Note that bokeh and focus are faithfully reproduced. Here, an interactive GUI allows for exploration of the reconstructed Epsilon photography stack for different scenes. Again, only 16 input images of each scene were used. Finally, we conducted a subjective evaluation to evaluate our algorithm's performance. Over two-thirds of respondents either couldn't tell the difference between ground truth and reconstruction, or actually preferred the reconstructed images. In summary, compressive epsilon photography exploits the inherent redundancy manifest when varying camera parameters. By modeling and taking advantage of this, it enables unprecedented post-capture control of camera focus and aperture settings. Please refer to our publication for more details.